the Note 8. The V30 packs a Quad HD AMOLED display. It's a POLED display, basically exactly the same as an AMOLED display. Um, so active matrix light emitting diode, um, organic even. So these two phones look quite similar, both 18-ish by 9 aspect ratios, 18.5 by 9, 18.9. The V30 is definitely more manageable, it's lighter. Although they both pack the same capacity battery, 3,300 milliamps. You can see on the sides, the Note 8 feels like it just has that bit less bezel going on. That's down to the curved display. It gives the impression of less bezel. But up top and bottom, it looks like the V30 may well be winning out. But the Note 8 obviously is carrying something under the hood that the V30 isn't, and that is the S Pen. Currently out of stow, it means that you can do some very cool stuff not least of all sketching your heart out now i love sketching on this thing it's a really natural drawing experience you've got a wacom digitizer 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity you've also got in unlimited pages as well or more like 200 or something pages so you can just keep drawing and sketching and writing for days but if you don't really care about a pen then you might as well get either the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus or indeed the V30, which places more of an onus on video. The video on this thing is exceptional. First off, in regular video, you can zoom very, very smoothly. It's a really, really sweet user experience, but there's also something called cine video mode where you can actually do something called point zoom so for example if i want to point zoom on an element of the lg v uh, of the samsung galaxy Note 8 i can actually zoom in and out just on that specific part even if it isn't in the center of my image which is cool so focuses drawing creating stuff by hand videoing creating stuff using your camera as far as the designs go, like I said, from the front they're quite similar, from the back they're also very similar. You've got fingerprint scanners, you've got dual cameras, um, and you have glass backs. They're both scratch resistant, they're both waterproof as well. Mono speakers at the base, USB-Cs for charging on both. Up at the top you've got the headphone jack on the V30, whereas the headphone jack's on the bottom on the Note 8. The reason the Note 8 is bigger, in spite of the fact that I have the same size battery, is because of obviously that S Pen. It's going to take up room creating that kind of a cavity. User interfaces are also different. Customized by Samsung and LG, they look similar. They run the latest version of Android. Well, actually, they run Android 7, not Android 8, which is the real latest version. But only the Sony Xperia XZ1 runs Android 8, aside from the Google Pixel. You've got home screens, you've got application tray on the Samsung. You have no application tray by default on the LG V30. Notification tray, two tier pull down on both devices. Very, very user friendly. Anyone who's used Android before should be absolutely laughing with either. Power under the hood is also similar. The Note 8 has two gigabytes more RAM, six gigabytes versus four gigabytes. Snapdragon 835 processors across both, unless you're in a region that's gonna get the Exynos processor on the Note 8. The camera setups are a little bit different. You have a wide angle and a regular angle uh, view on the LG V30. And so we can actually fire that up to show you exactly what that translates to. Jump out of the cine video mode uh, into regular photo mode. And we can actually fire up the cameras on both. And you can see, in fact, this is on live focus mode and someone's screwed up the um, aspect ratio there you go so we've got it on full screen um, turn off live focus and you should be able to get the regular field of view T two times zoom one time zoom by contrast you've got regular and you've got wide angle so you can just get a lot more in frame on the LG G, uh, V30, but you can get way closer in on the action, especially if it's being held nice and still on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. What's cool about the Note 8 is both of the lenses have autofocus. Image stabilization is also on both of the lenses, making that the first phone in the world with dual image stabilization as well as dual optical image stabilization as well as dual cameras. Um, this LG V30 has image stabilization on the regular field of view lens and it's electrical image stabilization on the wide angle. And it's kind of understandable why you don't have autofocus on here because you don't really, really need it. You're not going to be doing macro at this angle. And as you can see, my hand, which is super close, is still relatively well focused there. Right, now talking about, oh, hey guys, 
front cameras, five megapixels versus eight megapixels. The front camera of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 also shoots high resolution video, shoots up to 2K, not quite 4K of the Nokia 8, but 2K is pretty respectable nonetheless. So what else can you say about these phones? 64 gigabytes of storage on both, micro SD expandability on both, like I really just need to get them in for review because on paper both of these phones seem super super just desirable available in a range of colors there's a gorgeous deep sea blue color for the Note 8 this is the black one you can see how much it attracts fingerprints but any glass back device is going to do that as you can see with my LG V30 available in silver lavender and black and white I do believe 3,300 milliamp batteries in both. We'll expect the uh, V30 to last that bit longer, but optimizations that Samsung does may well tip it in Samsung's favor. Hopefully you've enjoyed this comparison. Sorry for all the background noise. I am at EFA. If you've enjoyed all our EFA coverage, subscribe to the channel. There'll be more of this coming soon. And if you have any questions,